talking about system, there's a lot of concern whether the Thai medical system will facing something that might collapse it in this new wave of the outbreak. Like we see in a lot of countries in the first wave, in the second wave, in America, in Italy, it looked very scary. So with these new cases rising rapidly, many Thais are wondering whether the country healthcare sector will crumble under this pressure. So despite the launch of field hospital and hospitals, which is a hotel under uh, the turn into hospital, concern is rising that the limited medical workforce may soon be overburdened. Dr. Somsak Akasin, the Director General of Medical Services Department, played down the concerns, saying that the number of infections in Thailand is still far too small to disrupt medical services. However, the new wave of infections is spreading faster than the two previous outbreaks early last year and in December. And Thailand currently has 20,000 COVID-19 patients hospitalized. Not a huge number compared to the size of the medical workforce. However, if the ongoing wave of COVID-19 infections continues, the collapse of the healthcare sector may be imminent, given that the medics also have to treat patients with other diseases. So what health protection does Thailand have? Dr. Somsak said that there are about 400,000 medical workers under the public health ministry. And if you count in the doctor and um, all medical workers in the private hospital too, Thailand will have estimated total of 700,000 medical staff to tend to the population. He explained that the hospitals are dividing their staff into separate teams that are kept apart. So if one team is infected or quarantined, the others can keep working. He added that field hospitals and hospitals required only small teams of, of the medical personnel to tend to the patients with one nurse per 20 to 40 patients and one doctor per 100 to 200 patients. And most COVID positive patients at field hospitals and hospitals are either asymptomatic or have very mild symptoms. Those whose symptoms worsen are sent to hospital immediately. So this scare, this, this fear is not groundless. However, Dr. Somsak warned that medical services in some areas may be affected if a sizable number of their staff gets infected or is forced to go into quarantine. For instance, more than 100 medical personnel in Udon Thani have recently been quarantined due to the risk in, in, of infection, and that, of course, affects how the hospital works. Many major hospitals have advised regular patients to postpone their appointment if possible, such as King Julai Longkorn Memorial Hospital is, re is receiving only critical or emergency cases until May 15th in order to focus on COVID-19 patients. Sirat Hospital has also closed its first floor for outpatients from April 21st to 27th after some staff tested positive for COVID-19 and will only tend to serious or emergency cases. The hospital has provided telemedicine services and can have the medication delivered to the patient's home. Rama Tibidi Hospital has made a similar announcement calling on outpatients to postpone their visit. And uh, many other hospitals, many other private hospitals are yeah, doing the same thing. Some hospitals have some kind of virtual visit by the doctor. They have this app and they can talk to the doctor through the video conference. So if the, uh, the sickness is not super serious, they, they can just get medication delivered to their home. And it's meltdown preventable in Thailand. The opposition member of parliament and medical doctor as well, Ray Wat Bisut Wed recently warned that if Thailand's health system and workers are overwhelmed, it would not just be COVID-19 patients that died, but also others who were denied treatment for serious diseases. 